Today we've got a great comparison. We're going to compare mowing your lawn with a dedicated zero turn versus a belly mower. So stick around. As always, we're sponsored by Bora Wheel Spacers. They are made in America, have a lifetime warranty. If your tractor feels tippy side to side, especially if you have a cab on it, then adding a set of wheel spacers can make a big difference. Get more information on them at the link down below. Okay, so this is a big decision for you guys, deciding if you want to have a whole separate machine or use a belly mower that's on your tractor that you already have. Now there's a lot of options out there for machines, so we just have a couple of them here. So don't make it specifically these two machines side by side. Use your own machines that you have or that you're comparing for this purpose. But this one right here is a John Deere 1025R. This does have a 60 inch belly mower on it. It's a drive over deck, take it on, take it off, has a front end loader, three point hitch, all that kind of stuff. So it's a subcompact tractor. Now this one here is a John Deere Z970R. This is a commercial grade, a pretty high end um, zero turn mower. You can get a lot of lower end models as well. They're gonna be substantially cheaper. There's a trade-off for that, probably a whole other video we could do as well, but that's what we're gonna be using today. All right, so we're gonna have a lot of pros and cons here. Typically, the pro for one type of machine is gonna be a con for the other type of machine. The first one out of the gate, probably goes without saying, is that a zero turn is gonna be substantially faster. Now, depending on the area you have to mow, speed could be more of a factor. If it's a smaller lawn like what we have here, this is a three-quarter acre lot, you know, a mile or two an hour is not gonna make a huge difference, probably save maybe five minutes, I don't know. That's just a ballpark guess, but probably not worth losing sleep over. But going along with that, agility kind of ties into speed because you're a lot more nimble. The name zero turn should give that away as well. You can turn on a dime if you want to. I suggest not doing that as you're gonna rip up your turf, but you can't do anywhere near that with a 1025 hour or a similar machine. I've got some mulch rings around some trees in my yard that we can show you. I laid those out specifically for the turning radius of the 1025R. So that kind of plays into the speed factor of it as well, but it's more of a nimbleness and agility side of things too. So potentially the more obstacles you have in your yard or your lawn to mow around, that could give a bigger advantage to the zero turn over the belly mower. Now another advantage going to the zero turn is going to be weight. And now this is one of the heavier zero turns that's out there, a lot of them are lighter, but this one weighs in at 1,350 pounds. The 1025R with the belly mower on there is gonna weigh somewhere around the 17 to 1800 ballpark depending on what size mower deck you have on there too but if compaction on your lawn is of concern the zero turn again is likely going to have an advantage if you go with a lower end residential model again it's probably going to be even lighter but the same thing can be said if you're going to use a garden tractor from john deere you're going to save a lot of weight there too now in the beginning of the video we talked about how this mower deck is a drive over that means you can take it on and off and you want to if you're going to be using the front end loader the three-point hitch doing utility type of work with it you don't want to damage the mower deck so that is of course a time consuming process to have to deal with the john deere drive over system auto connect system is a pretty fast system to do it with but nonetheless with a zero turn the mower deck stand on there all the time you're never taking it off so it's just going to be quicker in that regard now let's talk about price of course with a zero turn you have to buy the entire machine on a tractor like this you just need to buy the mower deck and depending on your dealer this 60 inch deck right here is going to be around the three thousand dollar ballpark the price could be a little bit higher could be a little bit lower if you're going to look for a dedicated zero turn 60 inch wide about the lowest I could find as far as the price point goes was $4,500, $5,000. Now I didn't completely scour the internet, but you are gonna pay more for the lowest end that I could find 60 inch dedicated zero turn. But really, you're getting an entire machine with an engine and everything else compared to just a mower deck. So really you're in the ballpark of maybe $1,500 to $2,000 more at minimum to have a dedicated zero turn with a 60 inch deck compared to a belly mower. Now I haven't experienced the difference in cut quality myself, but I've heard it online. I've seen this argument in the comments as well, but a zero turn is a purpose built machine. It's built to mow lawns, whereas a tractor like the 1025R is built to do many things, right? And a belly mower is just one of those. So question to you guys, are you gonna get better cut results with a zero turn mower over the belly mower? Now, do you have a hilly property? Because those can pose a big problem for zero turns and tractors. Now, zero turns are gonna have a lower center of gravity, so they are gonna feel more stable. You're not gonna feel as tippy when you're up higher and maybe a little bit narrower footprint. So that is gonna be a big pro to the zero turn. Now, I did all sorts of mowing in my college days on zero turns. We mowed accounts all over the place, and zero turns wanna slip and slide all over the place if it's wet. They can be very hard to maintain a straight line on a hill. You can also see a lot more turf damage that way too, because if you are spinning and slipping a lot, it's gonna to wanna to tear up the lawn. So that is where a tractor like this will sell because it's going to allow you to have four-wheel drive if you need it. Now, I would recommend going straight up and down a hill. Don't go sideways or diagonal on a hill. That's just asking for trouble, asking for a rollover, asking for those slippage problems to occur. But this is where the tractor is going to excel. In particular, a model 
like this that is gonna be four wheel drive. You have the belly mower down there, a little bit more proportional weight all around. I found really good success. We have a pretty steep hill actually. It's a small area in the front of the house, but it's a pretty steep hill going up and down all the time with this. Handles it with ease, never an issue. Now, of course, if you get a machine like this, maybe even something smaller like a nice garden tractor, something that you can do a lot of other work with besides just mowing your lawn, that's gonna be a huge advantage. So if you're investing thousands and thousands of dollars into something, you wanna get as much use out of it as you can. So with this, yes, you can get a front end loader for it. You got the three point hitch. You can scoop up dirt, you can move mulch, you can plow your driveway, you can till a garden, you can mow a field, you can mow your lawn, you can do all sorts of stuff. It's a, almost an endless list compared to a zero turn. That's really, again, that dedicated machine. Yes, I've seen a few options and add-ons where you can add on a plow to the front, a tow hitch to the back, so you can maybe pull an aerator, a dethatcher, that kind of thing too, but it's not really anywhere near the same compared to a tractor. Now, maintenance is always a big concern, so having an entire extra machine to have to maintain with the engine, the transmission, the mower deck, everything else that could possibly go wrong is a pretty big detractor to having just a belly mower, you know, just one deck on here and just the same machine that you're going to use for all your different projects at one time. So if you like to simplify, sometimes just having that one machine can be a lot nicer than having multiple machines to maintain. And along that same line of thinking, if you're looking to simplify, save space, well, guess what? If you have one machine, that's going to take up less space than having two machines. Duh. And as far as that type of space goes, in most standard height garages, you will be able to fit the ROPS bar if your zero turn is equipped with one inside. I'm, I'm six foot three, so this will easily fit inside a standard seven foot high garage. Now this, with the ROPS bar up, will not fit. Ask me how I know. <laughs> now you can fold this down right here at this hinge point to fit it inside your garage. The ROPS bar is an important piece of safety equipment, so I encourage you to read your manual. But that reminds me, I can't look at a ROPS bar anymore without thinking about the Rhino Hide Canopy. If you are looking for something to keep you out of the sun in the summertime, the Rhino Hide Canopy is probably the right solution for you. It is gonna be nearly indestructible. It is very lightweight, so if you do need to take it off to get inside your garage, it weighs 15 pounds, so one person can do it. You can literally take this thing off in just a matter of seconds, so if you do need to store your tractor inside the garage or if you're traveling down the road, you can take that canopy off so it doesn't go blowing away. So if you wanna be more comfortable this summer, protect yourself from the sun, check out Rhino Hide Canopies, link down below. Some things that neither one does better than the other is cutting, mulching, or bagging. I think they both do a respectable job. As far as service goes, I think they're both really easy to work on, and that's gonna be uh, both the engines and the mower decks. I don't really think that there's an advantage or a disadvantage either way. Now, another factor that I think is kind of a wash, and I'm thinking of this with my X739 that I used to mow with as well, is a gas versus a diesel. And if I could've, I would've got a diesel version of that X739. That X739 was a gas guzzler. So with a diesel, you are gonna pay more for a diesel machine, but the diesel is going to last longer. It's a more fuel efficient type of uh, system. So that's a bit of a wash either way. So I felt like I was filling up the tank all the time with the X739, but whether that's worth it or not for you, I'll let you decide. Well, that's gonna do it for us today. I know that's not an exhaustive list, but I wanna know what factors that you were thinking about when you were trying to decide between a zero turn and a belly mower. What did I miss? What didn't I cover? Leave a comment down below. Hey, and you're gonna to wanna to hit that subscribe button to see future videos. I am partnering up with 247parts.com. They are a huge online John Deere dealer. You can use code GWT to save money off of your order. I got a lot of stuff coming in. We're gonna be doing uh, some upgrades to both of these machines. I have LED lights coming on, so LED work lights and fender lights coming. Uh, the load and go ramps that you guys love out there too. On the Z9, we have a lot of stuff coming too. We're gonna be putting tweels on the front, have a mulch kit to add on here, and then also have a parking stand, a few other things too, so make sure you check it out. Now we do sell and ship tractor attachments all over the country, so if you're looking for something for your tractor, check out goodworkstractors.com. We'd be happy to help. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Yeah.